Well, good morning, guys. What's going on? And welcome back to the cabin. Oh, beautiful morning. No wind. Current temperature, 20 degrees. That's uh, about negative six in Celsius. Nice and cool, just the way I like it. Um, but it hasn't been this way. Oh, man. It has been uh, way too warm. So since the last video, we had quite a warm spell. I mean, every day it was, you know, in the 60s. And, uh, and one day, oh, I forget which day it was now, but it was uh, 75 degrees. It cracked 75 degrees here at the cabin in November. That is just, that's just way too, uh, <laughs> way too warm. And I was trying to get some work done. I was down in the woodlot and uh, trying to clear some trails uh, down into uh, a couple of hardwood stands that I want to cut this winter. And uh, it was just too hot. <clears throat> there were even little mosquitoes flying around. It was bringing all the mosquitoes back to life. I was like, what is going on here? Uh, anyway, that was, uh, that was unusual, but, you know, as things go here, the, almost the next day, the temperatures dropped and it snowed. It snowed about uh, several inches, and uh, most of it's kind of melted off now because in the daytime, it's, it's going up above freezing. Uh, so it's, it's kind of melting off. But what I would really like to see happen right now, uh, as much as I love the snow, I would like to see it not snow for a little while. And I would like to see the temperatures really drop and stay there so that the ground gets frozen. Because right now the ground is not frozen at all. And uh, well, especially for, for me, for here, um, if I want to go down into the woodlot this winter and cut some wood, uh, I want the ground to be frozen underneath the snow. So when I go down with the tractor, it's just so much easier to, you know, to get down in there and to haul the wood out and stuff. So fingers crossed for some uh, nice freezing cold weather for the next uh, few weeks and no snow. That would be nice. And then it can snow. It can snow as much as it wants. I don't care. Truck's a little frosty this morning and I got to get that scraped off because we got to take a little trip today. All right. I'll have to scrape. Uh, I'm going to have to scrape these solar panels too. All right, I, uh, I kind of wish I had that on video. <clears throat> so what just happened, my ladder gave way. And uh, so you can see it here, it just gave way. And I dropped like a, like a brick. I mean, it happened so fast. That, uh, yeah, and I just went wham right down on that hard ground. <clears throat> oh, I'm in a lot of pain right now. I've been in worse, but I'm in a lot of pain. I'm feeling a little woozy. Uh, I hit my head, and, uh, yeah, I, I can feel like I can get up, obviously, and move around. But, yeah, I don't feel so good right now. I took a hard fall. And that's... Uh, that's the reality, and that's the, the danger of, of being here. Um, and when you're all alone, yeah, you know what I mean here, and there's no, but nobody to help you, you have to be careful. And if something like this happens, and man, it happened fast. Oh, oh, man. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, I'm going to end for right now this video because I really don't feel good. I'm feeling pretty woozy. Okay.
All right, I decided that uh, the best thing to do, I'm just gonna drive to the nearest house and I know them anyway, because I really don't feel good. I feel really dizzy and shaky. I hit my head pretty hard. Whew. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna drive there and, and uh, hang out there for a bit. Uh, just to kind of see where I'm at. Okay, I'll be back at you soon. All right, huh, I'm back. What a day, what a day. Um, so yes, I, I did get checked out. Uh, that was probably the smart thing to do. Um, I banged myself up pretty good, but I'm going to survive. Uh, I did get some uh, good pain meds. That helped uh, a lot. Um, it's starting to wear off a little bit now, but they were they were pretty good when they kicked in. I didn't feel a whole lot. You know, saw lots of little pink unicorns and <laughs> all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, so I'm back and uh, oh man, that was that was bad. Let's um, not exactly how I expected this day to go, but uh, anyway, let's take another look at this ladder because now that I'm a little more, uh, uh, you know, whatever, lucid, um, let's think this through. The ladder, originally I thought the ladder had buckled, you see. But now I think that bent because it hit the stairs. Um, so yeah, so it, I was up there and I was up against there and for some reason it just let go and sh straight down. And now as it came down, I cracked my forehead on one of these rungs and then I fell backwards. I fell backwards and I landed on this ladder and my neck landed on, on one of these, which really could have been a lot worse. But this, my back hit both here and here which kind of sort of broke my fall and my elbows both hit on the uh, on the gravel and <laughs> my elbows took quite a bit of punishment. They look pretty good. They're black and blue and and uh, all road rash. Probably sting for a few days. All right, so I'll show you how I landed. And uh, if I can get into position, uh, it still hurts a lot. Uh, I landed like this. Oof. Then, yeah, oh man, uh, might knock you back up. Yep, all right. Let's stand this ladder up here. Jeez, everything hurts. I don't know if I can do it. Yeah, I can. Anyway. Okay, so the ladder, um, of course the rung, this rung sits in this, and that's what holds it in place. Now, I've, the only thing I can think of, I thought it buckled at first right there, but I, I don't think so. I think somehow, somehow this rung jumped out of this. And when it did, of course, the ladder went straight down. Uh, that's the only thing that makes sense. And But I really don't know how that happened because they're really not made to, uh, to come out of there very easy. Um, maybe I had it on too much of an angle, but... It really wasn't that much of an angle, and I've I've used it on a lot lot more angle than that, and uh, I've never had a problem. I've never had that happen. I've never seen it happen. So yeah, I I really don't know. Uh, well, there you go. It happened. Whatever. Um, I'm just really lucky, and uh, I'm quite thankful because. 
uh, you know, the first thing that happened when I hit, when I hit my neck and my, my back and, and everything, and, and it happened so fast. And the first thing I thought is, oh crap, you know, like this is probably not good. And, and, uh, the first thing I did was, you know, okay, I can wiggle my fingers and my toes. That's a good sign. So, you know, I proceeded to get up and, uh, kind of collect myself. But, uh, yeah, I was in a lot of, a lot of pain <laughs> and, uh, I still am. So I'll have to take some more of those pain meds <clears throat> before bed and, uh, see how I feel in the morning. Probably, uh, it's probably going to be pretty sore tomorrow morning. That's, I'm just going to make a little guess and, uh, probably for the next few days. Well, all right. This is not the video that I wanted to do today, but hey, you got to roll with the punches. Um, so what I wanted to do, my plan, uh, after I had finished uh, scraping off the solar panels, I had planned to uh, load up all the uh, my fuel jugs uh, in the truck and uh, take you guys for a drive into town. I had to get my winter fuel. Um, well, I wanted to get my winter fuel. Uh, get some PBR and uh, maybe something special for the grill, but that didn't happen. So uh, I do have some pork tenderloin and we're going to throw that on. And that's good because I like pork tenderloin and uh, I have some new seasoning that I want to try. Uh, some new stuff from the barbecue pit boys. So uh, let's get that on. And... I have this new pork privilege from the Barbecue Pit Boys. And I have no PBR, however, I will wash it down <laughs> with some Poland Spring. All right, cheers guys. Oh yeah. Well, you know what? That's not, uh, it, it's missing something. It's missing something uh, like the, uh, the barley and the hops and, <laughs> and all that other good stuff. Uh. Man, that's really, really good. Uh, barbecue Pit Boys wins again. And if you don't know who the Barbecue Pit Boys are, well, check them out on YouTube. They are definitely the masters of the grill. Um, anyway, that's going to wrap up this video. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, drop me some comments below. Smash your old thumbs up if you don't mind. Appreciate that support as always. You guys take care and stay safe. Watch out for the ladders. Be careful if you're on a ladder. And uh, 
Well, unless the good Lord calls me home, I'll see you real soon back here at the cabin.